guys, it's Sarah with Pollard Farms, and I'm out here today with Lucky, who um, gave birth earlier this week. Um, we'll go more into that a little later, but um, due to certain circumstances, her baby is on a bottle. It's nothing that Lucky did wrong. She was trying to be a mother, but um, has some complications, so it just didn't work. So I'm out here milking her, and um, she is for a first time mama, and First time ever being milk, she's phenomenal. She stands very still and she gives me a lot of milk. Uh, for a boar, her uh, bag is beautiful. It's beautifully shaped. Um, and she gives me a good two quarts every day. And that that's, that's a pretty good amount. And it's good, thick, uh, foamy, rich milk. Yeah, mama. She's on the stand now, I'm just petting her. But um, y'all come along and we'll, we'll see how this goes. Lucky, she's up on our stand. She's being very still. So very nice. I can see her bag. She is producing a lot of good, healthy milk. And um, I'm gonna milk her. still let me milk her she doesn't kick me she doesn't pull away she just stands here and as I say that her leg comes up but we've also been having gnats and flies so I'm sure they're aggravating her and what I am milking into is actually my water bottle um, it holds gallons of water so you know it's food grade it's easy to milk in hard for her to get her foot in if she was to go that route and um it's easy to it has a cap i can put on it till i get to the house to strain it and put in the fridge yeah mama For a uh, boar goat, she's doing very well on milking. Um, you know, she's meat lines, not milk lines, but I'm very impressed with her. So I'm going to continue milking and y'all just follow along. See, there goes her foot. So, which I'm sure she's ready to get back in there with her buddies. All right, that side's done. Good baby. Good baby. Okay, we're back with Pollard Farms. You, right, you see right now that my mom's milking uh, uh, Lucky. She's actually doing good. She's, um, she's, she had babies last day. Monday. Monday, she had babies. She was early. She was really, it was actually really early. Yeah, as in the babies came premature. Yeah. And we lost one of them. Yeah, it, it born without no eyes. It was born with no eyes. It wasn't, the babies were basically about eight days early. And um, we just, the, the one that's still thriving, he his teeth wasn't in yet. Everything else was good for him. He's just really small. Um, Right now, uh, a family member who just absolutely loves bottle feeding babies is caring for him because with my work schedule, it was going to be tough this week doing it. So we just milk mama out and we'll bring the milk to her. Uh, that first day I milked out an entire Dr. Pepper bottle, uh, 20 ounce of colostrum. Her teeth right here are empty. Yep, they are empty. And let me see. And we catch y'all on the flip side. And uh, 
we've got we got about a quart of milk now we got a quart of milk earlier so like i said she's giving us about two quarts a day really good and um i'm really pleased with her yes lucky i'm talking about you baby i know she really wanted to be a mom she was being very attentive to her baby but um we ended up having to give her some shots to clean her out because she was having a hard time. There was a, another one in there that was dead. And we, we think that's why she went into labor early is because of the dead babies. Um, I said this, she's a first time mama. And unfortunately these things happen. Uh, but she just, she was in too much pain to be able to care for her little boy. So, uh, you know, we as humans have to pick up the pace and take care of him. So, but she's doing good now. Everything's cleared out. She's no longer in pain. She's no longer um, passing any nasty stuff. So we've got it all cleaned out, and uh, we're we're milking her and feeding, keeping the baby fed. And he's doing good. Uh, when he was born, he he couldn't get up on his back legs, but he's he's walking now. He's still very much a preemie. He still very much sleeps a lot um, as a our family has told us and we go and check on him and bond with him and we'll probably bring him home soon but uh just the way my work was this week it was it was better for him to go to somebody that was going to be able to get him started and work with him around the clock and they're they're very seasoned on bottle feeding babies so anyways that's all we wanted to show y'all was Milk and Lucky, and we'll get her back in the field. Hey, it's her again. Thanks for uh, watching as we milked Lucky out. And um, as I said, uh, it was Lucky's first time giving birth. Um, she had triplets, two of them were dead. Uh, one of them didn't pass until after we gave her some medicine to help her pass. Uh, she was in a lot of pain. Um, she tried her hardest to be a mama. Uh, the mother instinct is definitely there, but she was just, she was too stressed out, a little bit too much pain to be able to give the little guy the attention he needed. She did let him nurse when he was first born. Um, so he, he nursed her claustrum straight from her to begin with. And then, um, the next morning I milked out, uh, about a 20 ounce Coke bottle full of claustrum and he got all that and uh so now we uh I'm, I'm milking her out uh twice a day i'm getting about a quart each time and I, i'm taking that to give to him um he's doing better so we'll probably be bringing him home soon he's a pretty little guy all red he looks like he's got a few dark spots showing up really shocked us that between her and willie both all dappled up and dappled genetics that um we got this little <laughs> mostly solid guy but he's a fighter much like his mom if many of y'all if y'all watched any of my videos y'all know that lucky is um comes by her name naturally because she is lucky she's lucky to be alive and um same can be said for her little boy i'm big, kind of been calling him champ because that's what he is he's a fighter he's a champ um he's got the will to live so i believe he will um i believe he'll get past these hurdles that he's been going through he is able to stand now when he was first born his back legs just quit and cooperate um so we worked with him and uh he's able to stand he'll he'll bounce around a little bit but much like a newborn newborn he tires out very easy um he has to be woke up to eat because he just he just wants to sleep 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 and uh, i think he'll get out of that as he gets older i think that's part of him being a preemie um, his teeth are finally starting to break through the gum line. Uh, he was born Monday, so it's Saturday. Yesterday when we were over there, his his teeth were breaking through. So um, his due date was the 27th. Uh, like I said, everything seems to be working. He doesn't have any breathing problems or anything. Um, we thought I was blind there for a little bit. First day or so, he had no... Um, uh, uh, like it didn't bother him to, he didn't blink or anything he had no um, I'll think of the word one day anyways it's been a long day but he had uh, um, 
he he's following now with his eyes and all and he's um y'all ever do that have a little brain fart and can't think where you're going with this conversation <laughs> anyways he is not blind he does see he does follow he does react reaction eye reaction that's the word i was looking for so <laughs> y'all it's been a long week um monday night was just i sat in the field with lucky as she was giving birth and at one point she literally laid in my lap y'all i mean laid on her side in my lap and pushed out that dead baby um and the entire time like i, I stayed in the field all night she 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 didn't want me leaving she would cry she stayed right there by me. Um, she wanted me to keep the baby there by her. I'd go put him in a warming barrel. And uh, so eventually I just, the three of us shut ourselves up in the barn and I stayed in there with her. Um, it, it was a very emotional night. Um, then Tuesday, we knew we had to get her some help about 24 hours after kidding. Uh, when she, you know, she tried to, she act like she's going to pee, but you could see she was still trying to push and no pee was coming out, just straight blood. So we got hold of um, our medicine. Uh, we talked to the vet and he told us, yeah, go ahead and give it. And um, we did a oxytocin and a leap shot and that, it did kick her back in the heat, but um, she's in no danger of being rebred right now. Um, but it, it cleaned her out. It cleaned her our system, helped her pass everything that needed to be passed. And now she's doing fine. She is, she's eating fine. She's drinking fine. Her back end has cleared up. Um, she's peeing properly. She's got solid, you know, all the things that needs to be done, she's doing. So we're very, very happy. Um, a kid, look, he likes to defy the odds. So um, we will, you know, let her get past this. And this fall, this winter sometime we will um probably ai her instead of letting her have a natural breeding and um we'll see how she goes like i said she had all the instincts of wanting to be a, a wonderful mom and i have no doubt that she would be but you know for the best interest of her and the best interest of her baby this is the route that we've uh, chosen to go so everybody's doing well um unfortunately this is the farm life. This is the life of livestock. It's not always pretty. It is not always pretty. Um, sometimes it's downright heartbreaking. And uh, you just have to deal with the bad as you do the good and just keep plugging along. So uh, today we've also had our garden tilled up. Y'all see that. Um, a neighboring guy from down the road is uh, tilling up people's gardens for them for whatever they want to gift him. He made a deal with us. We traded him a pair of Muscovy ducks for him to till up our garden. I feel like that's a great trade. Anytime we can do um, a trade and barter and it not cost money, we're all in. And he's happy with it because he said those ducks are going to be the gift that keeps on giving. And we, uh, rounding him up some eggs that the ducks had laid today and he's going to throw in the incubator also to go ahead and start hatching some babies. So he's happy, we're happy. Um, corn and peas are going in the ground as we speak and it's a beautiful day. Y'all, the weather's been great and I am just so happy to start getting in the garden, getting dirty and things growing. Y'all, months of plenty of plants. They're thriving. They're making it. If y'all didn't see the Facebook post, 162, I believe, tomato seeds, and it looks like they may all survive. <laughs> so, if there's one thing we'll grow this year, it will be tomatoes. Anyways, y'all, um, I hope y'all are all having a great day. I hope y'all are having a great weekend, and uh, we will catch y'all on the flip side. Uh -huh.